Miss him. And he set up for great kill opportunities. Oh. This is where he finally gets his up throw rest. He's going to size it up back. again. He's going to scoop back and brace himself for a long game. It's been pretty fast paced. Four stocks gone, and it's only a minute in. Uncharacteristic of Dream Ma Dreamland matches. Great DI from Peter King. Is he going to get another kill? He did. Yeah. He did. Hunger Bucks last season is two in a row. He he's not uh, re appreciating how much low percent rest yeah. on the uh, top platform is going to hurt him. Yeah, it's been a while since we talked about always oh, rest on the table or not, but Mewtwo King is, has such a laser precision to the setup. It's like I don't know. As long okay. as Mewtwo King dies quickly, he can punish it. All right. Defense, no missed hacks. One grab is now a kill. Oh, that, as soon as I comment on it. Nice! This drill was such a reverse. What a great mind game spacing from Hungrybox. I think he just has to grab the ledge. Moves it back. Well played by Hbox. Now anything is on the table. Rest plays are now a thing. This close to the edge, Mewtwo King is definitely threatened by any Oh, attempt. wow. What a sick read on the jump. It's a really cool setup there because he lands or he stays in the air. The weak nair puts him in good position to get up air. Or if Hbox lands, it's going to slide him off to the side of the platform where he can get an up smash. Yeah, great read from Mewtwo King. Whenever Jigglypuff is sent into the air, the way Duck described it to me is that there are four diagonal motions she's going to go. She's going to go diagonal up, throw left, diagonal up right. Or oh, he did not touch the ground. Mm. And because Fox can just choose to jump fast while touch the ground again, he actually gets advantage when Jigs overcommits reaching top platform. Looking so intelligent. I've never seen him prioritize the center like this. Mewtwo King? Yeah. Yeah. His game plan is very strong. Good like, back offs. Gone are the days laser. of lasering in the corner. Yeah. He still has rare moments of it. I this think away Mango, I think you see Mango laser more than Mewtwo King has. Okay. Hbox can test the middle and gets up smash. This could be his last stock of the tournament. He's been in this situation countless times. Let's see if he can dig deep and pull out something magical out again. These weak nears in the middle are really covering the platform. I think Hbox is getting very discouraged by these zoning aerials. Yep. He's taking a lot of percent. One up smash, one grab. Oh, and that's a nice juicy back here. Well okay. positioned on the up smash. This is anybody's game still. He's going to implement a little bit of the ledge grab, but not enough. We haven't seen any planking, which is interesting. Oh, planking, that yeah. will do it. And that's the tournament. Grand Finals is over. 3-1. 3-1 by Mewtwo King. Mewtwo King double eliminating Hungrybox. It's imperative that Hbox, sorry, Mewtwo King won on both Game 1 on Battlefield and the second Battlefield attempt. I wish you could show you how excited Mewtwo King is. He had both fists in the air. Well played by Hungrybox and even better played by Mewtwo King. If we watch back on those sets, he had sick reads, sick positioning. Such a game plan. I learned so much watching that. And very early KOs. Well played by Mewtwo King. I would say... I really asked the tough questions. What's up, man? Let's talk. How you feel about that one? I felt better. Better? Yeah. Like in the... Like in other sets? Right. Naturally. Pretty, um, pretty shit set. How do you think that, like, was there anything that, like, Jason changed that stuck out to you? Anything that frustrated you? Yeah, I'm going to go back to the ledge. Okay. All right. Well, those closing comments uh, were quite loaded. <laughs> um, I think we're signing off here. Thank you to everyone who has watched SGL 2017. Thank you to Affinity Play, our wonderful streamer, Art. Um, the head tournament organizer, Sean Byrne from EGE, St. Clair College, and the Saints Gaming Program for having us. It's been a great weekend.